We're doing it. God, the setup for this just was so intense that I am not ready to do this. Yes, I am. Psych. Just kidding. You got pranked so hard. Ha ha. Hi, my name is Grace Helbig. If you did not know, now you know. Your life is different now. It is now October, which means it's one of the scariest time of the year. Selection season. And Halloween season. So today I wanted to make something inspired by both Halloween and the election season. Caramel apples. Caramel apples are a staple of fall. That was the end of that sentence. <laughs> and around Halloween, a lot of people make scary caramel apples. But because this election season is extremely important and extremely terrifying, instead of scary caramel apples, I'm gonna make scary harmful apples. Follow along. Okay, I found a recipe on Pinterest, and the first thing I need are 12 whole apples. I have six. Wash and dry apples, done. These apples are cleaner than my person right now. Like and subscribe. Insert sticks. Insert sex innuendo. Popsicle sticks, I got them. Okay, Jenga. Ow, great. I'm so strong. Watch how sexual this is, ready? And that is what sex is like. We got all the sticks in these apples. Then what happens? Heat all ingredients except vanilla in a heavy two-quart saucepan over medium-low heat. Stir constantly. You know who likes to stir constantly? Fucking Donald Trump. Give us some intelligent conversation. Stop stirring the fucking pot. Ha 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 la 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 Medium-low heat. Love this song. Ooh, that's where the beat drop. One fourth cup of butter. That sounds delicious. One cup white syrup. D. Trump, did you write this recipe? I'm assuming it's light corn syrup because that's what I found on a lot of other recipes for caramel apples. This recipe I'm using is Grandma Betty's caramel apples. Grandma Betty, like Donald Trump, has some. One cup of this white syrup. This is also the amount of hair gel that the hairstylist uses for Donald Trump before debates. That's in. 14 ounces of condensed milk. Whoa. Two cups of white granulated sugar. I keep my cabinets closed. I don't want to show you guys everything in honor of Trump. I know I'm not measuring things in the right things, but I'm trying. So all of that is in. Heat all ingredients. Stir constantly. I'm supposed to heat the caramel until it reaches the softball stage. 235 degrees Fahrenheit to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. And that made me just realize that I forgot to buy a candy thermometer. Looks like I won't have the right temperature. Temperature. Welcome back. You missed my incredible joke, dog. This is my impression of Melania Trump getting pleasured by Donald Trump. I think this caramel's almost done. So this says take it off the heat and let it rest for a little bit. Oh, I have to add the vanilla. Bam, bam. Oh, oh damn, it smells so good. So you need a buttered baking sheet at the ready. Are you ready? Great. It says, using the stick inserted in the apples, dunk apple in the hot caramel and twist slowly away from the heat. Dunk it. And then you twist it. Oh my God, this looks like a caramel apple. Okay, now we put it on this baking sheet. And we let it harden. And we continue to do that same thing. In the pit, try to love someone. Ow, ow. Touched it and it burned me. That's how I imagine anyone hugging Donald Trump. Sounds like afterwards. Five is good. Five is like the number of fingers on one of Donald Trump's tiny hands. I didn't say it. Fact check it, the internet. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay. It's Donald Trump's ringtone. Our harmful apples have started to dry for a little bit and now is the time in which we decorate them. I got some classic candy corn. I'm gonna start there. I am living against Donald Trump's standards of women. I used my mouth for something other than complaining. I'm just gonna put these candy corn while the caramel's still a little bit soft right in the middle. Ha ha! Our candy corn is now attached to our harmful apples. The next thing I want to do is there's all this green natural apple color 
um, next to the stick and I wanna cover that up and so I thought I would use Creamy Supreme Cream Cheese Frosting. Very white color. I wanna make it a little bit more golden. Then I'm gonna take some yellow food coloring. Here we go. Boom, we mix it up. Ooh, there we go. It's so blown out, you can't tell. Now we take a sandwich bag and we dump this into it. Oh God, we're gonna try and turn this into a cake frosting pipette bag. One of those bags where you can like pipe out all the cake frosting. I know that that did not further define what that was. And we snip off the corner. I'm gonna cover the tops of this thing, sort of. Oh, this doesn't really do anything. And you don't have to be precise. You just wanna cover the green part, cover anything that is organic or natural or real. Then take some of the icing from the ones that have a little bit too much and move it over to the one that doesn't have enough. Really sharing that wealth, something polar opposite of what Donald Trump ever believes. Now we clean up. And voila, here's our final product, our scary harmful apples. So if you didn't guess it already, these apples are very much made to resemble Donald Trump. You can see they're almost identical to the real thing. Skin color, hair color. I added, um, you know, it's classic bloodshot eye, nose. There is no mouth on these harmful apples because I just didn't want to. And some of you might be saying like, oh, that's scary, but what's so harmful? I did add some actual quotes from Donald Trump um, that he has said pretty recently. I just rolled out some fondant icing and I used an edible marker and wrote some quotes that Donald Trump has actually said over the past few years. Let's take a look at what we got here. If Hillary Clinton can't satisfy her husband, what makes her think she can satisfy America? That's a great number one priority. I'll take advantage of the laws of the nation because I'm running a company. So relatable. I'll build a great, great wall on our southern border and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Wow, you know, we got some sexism, some racism, and a little side of just pure, unadulterated delusion and narcissism. What more can you ask for in a candidate that's gonna run the United States of America? Everything, you can ask for everything more. You can actually choose everything more because you get to vote if you live in the United States. Please, please, dear God, vote if you can. Please, dear God, vote if you can. I, it, it's, 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 it's just so important. And there you go, that's it for this episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel because not everything is political here, but for right now, I have to be. Harmful attitudes can infect this country and we have the opportunity to not allow that. Who, I don't know. Donald Trump shits on Hillary's marriage to Bill Clinton, but like, has anyone put Melania under a lie detector test to ask her if she's being weakened at Bernie? But who am I to judge their relationship? They're just two people that have never been actually loved by anyone in their lives coming together to run the free world. Oh my god.